Yo, what is up my fellow household appliances today? Today's a good day, all right? So I woke up and I saw all this buzz on Twitter about Ableton Live 11. 11 is here, 11 is here. And I'm like, Ableton Live 11, didn't 10 just come out? But yeah, it's here. Um, I haven't watched it yet. I wanted to watch it live while filming so I could get my live reaction, live, live. Count how many times I say live in this video. I wanted to get my live reaction to share it with you guys, show you guys my first impression. So without further ado, I don't know if this is going to be copyrighted ableton um, i'm not trying to steal your content i will link this video below but whatever let's watch it ableton ableton okay We already have to take a pause. Now, I saw people talking about this on Twitter, so it was spoiled, but this, I couldn't care less about the rest of what's gonna be in this video, honestly. Comping, this is the only reason why I pretty much use Logic sometimes. Half of the time, I go to Logic to record vocals like this, how they're showing here on the video, and then I export the final vocals and bring them back into Ableton. That's what I just did with my girlfriend Nessence's new song, I'm Fine, if you didn't see that video, the card's right here. But yes, this is a game, I can't say it's a game changer because a lot of other DAWs already have this, but it's a game changer for Ableton to finally have this. Now I can really record vocals directly into Ableton. Now that's cool because honestly, I don't really use MPE that much. I know like devices like this utilize it, but I haven't even figured out how to use it myself to be honest, but it's always nice to be able to edit things right in Ableton, so. That's cool. New plugins? Now that reverb, it looks like it's something I'm actually gonna use. I've never really been a big fan of the reverb that Ableton already has. I normally use a little plate by um, Sound Toys, so this is looking cool. That's tight. That's sick. That is cool. Okay, okay, hold on, run that back. Pitch loop 89, glitches, shimmer, and vibrato. That's gonna be sick. This is gonna be like, maybe like a looperator, like an effect tricks kind of thing where you can really just mess with loops and stuff like that. That's fire, I'm looking forward to that. What? That's gonna, we're gonna be making some Monte Booker vibes with that. I'm not gonna lie, I have nothing to add because I don't record, I don't do live shows or anything like that. So all of this stuff right here is just foreign to me. So, sorry. <laughs> I like being unpredictable. Okay. Okay. Oh, see, yeah, this is still all live performance stuff. I'm wondering why I don't understand any of this. New sound. Okay. Some new Ableton packs. With Spitfire Audio. Hold on. 
Hold on, a new phaser, new chorus, or is that, is that all new? Wait, what is that? Is that the note expression? Yo, wait, there's a scale feature now? Oh, yes! For all my not so music theory, uh, being able to play the keys savvy people, they have a scales feature. All right, all right. That's useful. That is gonna be super useful. I can have a lo-fi template, a trap template. Okay. That's cool. So first impression straight away. I'm loving the comp feature. That's the number one thing I'm excited about. I'm loving that it looks like there's some type of scale feature in. Once they bring that, it's a wrap. We're gonna be like FL Studio up in here. We're gonna be clicking in notes. <laughs> I like the note chance and the velocity chance thing. That actually just means, you know, you're playing on the drum pads and you can set it to make a random velocity or something like that. The new devices are looking dope. The reverb looks dope. That little pitch thingy was looking super cool. And a lot of the little things, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of little things that just simply improve it like how you can have multiple templates right there thought that was cool let's see how much it is they're doing a limited offer you can buy ableton live 10 for 20 percent off and it'll come with a free upgrade to 11 so let me see how much the upgrade costs for me 183 dollars if i pre-order now so it looks like it's going to be 229 dollars <laughs> I mean, that's cool. That's cool, I guess. I don't know. I guess I got spoiled by Logic because all the Logic updates are free. Ableton, you have to pay for the updates, but it does come with a bunch of new cool stuff. So I'll give it to them. I'll give them the money. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-order this update now so I can lock in that 20% off. Um, I'd recommend you doing the same, honestly. Shout out to Decap, by the way. He posted this video on Instagram showing you how you can get the beta because he already has the beta. So you have to sign up. So I signed up for the beta. Hopefully I get accepted it to be a part of the Ableton beta program and they send it to me. So when they do that, I'll update you. But for now, that's all I got. Quick little reaction. Uh, let me know in the comments, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts? Are you gonna upgrade? If you don't have Ableton, are these features enough for you to switch to Ableton? Cause that comping feature is the main reason why I still was using Logic now. Might not even use Logic anymore. I might just only use Ableton, we'll see. But yeah, if you liked that video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you wanna see more like reaction videos. I I don't know. Thank you for streaming the music. L.DRE on all streaming platforms. I'm a table. Don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot be. Thanks for watching. L.DRE out.